Korean Quilt. Hey everybody, welcome back. That's right, it's time for Korean Quilt, your guide to the Korean language and culture. Now Anna, I need your help with today's expression. Sure, what is it? All right, well when I'm introducing myself to someone, how do I tell them about what I do for a living? You know, I'm a well-known writer by day and a phenomenal tango instructor by night. How do I say that in Korean? Tango? I thought you were an exotic dancer. Part-time and in the past, Anna. Get with the program. Okay, sorry. All right, you can help me out or what? Or what? <laughs> okay, relax, Ricky Ricardo. All you have to do is say the name of your company or school before the expression, 에 다녀요. Um, okay, so 다녀요, what's this mean exactly? Right, 다녀요 literally means I go to such and such a place, but it is used to mean that you work at a certain place or go to a certain school. Right, okay, and so here, don't forget to put this particle here, which basically works as a preposition a, which is basically at, in this case, after the name of the place. Correct. Uh, wait a minute. You knew the expression all along, Richard. Why, you sly come little... Come on, come on, Anna. We're on air. Remember, let's be professional. Okay. Anyway... Anna works at Arirang Radio. We could say the sentence as Anna는 Arirang Radio에 다녀요. Right. Or let's say you work for the very famous Korean company Samsung. Then you can say 삼성에 다녀요. Okay, I work at Samsung. 삼성에 다녀요. And if you're a student, you can say I go to Korean quilt school. Okay, which would be KQ, of course. KQ 학교에 다녀요. So if someone asks you, where do you work? Just put the preposition there, eh, and then tanyayo, and you're off to the races. Okay, we hope this helps you on your journey to Korean culture and language. See ya! Bye-bye.